Hello everybody, my name is Spoons Rattling, welcome to another video where today we are covering the Terminator uh, Captain, or his full government name is Captain in Terminator Armor. Regardless, uh, this is about as simple as a name comes in 40k. He is a captain and he is wearing the tactical dreadnought armor, or more commonly known as Terminator Armor, which is of course quite uh, the durable bulwark for anyone to wear. And this does make them quite tough. Let's get into their stats. So the Captain in Terminator Armor comes in at a relatively low 95 points. He has movement 5 inches, not 6. Sorry about that. Toughness 5, a 2 plus save, a 4 plus invulnerable, 6 wounds, leadership 6 plus, and OC 1. Uh, in terms of ranged weapons, he can take either a Storm Bolter or a Combi weapon. The Storm Bolter is Rapid Fire 2, 24 inch range, 2 attacks, Ballistic Skill 3 plus, Strength 4, AP 0, and Damage 1. And the combi weapon gets rapid fire 1, devastating wounds, anti-infantry 4+, plus, 24 inch range, 1 attack, ballistic skill 4+, plus, strength 4, AP 0, and damage 1. Unfortunately, uh, neither of these are very uh, standout, but the storm bolter is significantly more standout. And he actually, I believe, hits on 2s, not 3s. Um, but always take the combi bolter, really. There's not much reason to bring the combi weapon, it's just rather inaccurate, and doesn't do that much more damage even against its intended targets at its perfect range. Then, uh, unsurprisingly, like most Space Marine Captains, he's much better in melee. He can attack either a Relic Fist or a Relic Weapon. The Fist is 5 attacks that hit on 2s at Strength 8, AP 2, and Damage 2. Or he can take a Relic Weapon, which would be, you know, Power Sword, Power Axe, whatever you want to use, that has 6 attacks, Ballistic Skill 2+, plus, Strength 6, AP 2, and Damage 2. Now, these weapons, I'd say, are fairly well balanced, but the Relic Fist is probably the better for general purpose. There are certain enhancements that I'd say are better on the Relic Weapon rather than the Relic Fist, but if you just want a generalist uh, captain that'll be good in every detachment, take the fist. It's nice medium strength, good AP, and damage 2 is always a plus. In terms of abilities, we have uh, the Imperium Sword, which is his leader ability. When leading a unit, you can reroll charge rolls, which is just really useful in general. Terminators generally need all the help they can get to get to melee, and this is one of the best things you can do, which will also save uh, command points from time to time. In terms of his secondary ability, it is the new version of Rites of Battle, which is when you use a stratagem on this unit, once per battle round, you can reduce the cost of the CP, uh, cost of the stratagem CP by 1. So for 1 CP stratagems, they become 0, and 2 become 1. This is, of course, really useful, as most stratagems are 0 CP. For example, the Command Point Reroll, which doesn't have as much use, as you're mainly going to be charging into melee, and he has reroll charges already but it is really useful for detachment-specific stratagems, which we'll get into on the next slide. Overall, I'd say for 95 points, his raw stats are solid enough in terms of a decently fighty and very tough character. Let's get into how I would use him. Now, he is a generic choice for all uh, chapters to take, but I'm going to be focused on how he performs in the Dark Angels sort of rule sphere, uh, as that's the rules I use because I like their models. In terms of... Uh, him leading. He, of course, leads both versions of Deathwing quite well. Uh, both Knights and uh, regular Terminators both have their advantages. Normal Terminators are super accurate, are immune to modifiers, and they have some more ranged punch. And uh, the Deathwing Knights, of course, hit a lot harder in melee, and there are less of them, which means that they fit better into Land Raiders and into Storm Ravens. If you're me, because I really like the Storm Raven, not, I didn't get it this edition. I'm not, like, trying to meta chase. I just like the Storm Raven. Reminds me of the clone gunship from Star Wars. Uh, sorry, got sidetracked. Back to what we were talking about. Uh, one of his best things is reducing stratagems, and in the Inner Circle Task Force, uh, he has some really good stratagems he has access to. A minus one to wound is excellent for Deathwing Knights or Deathwing Terminators, as they will love the minus one to wound, which will reduce the amount of effective weapons against them to pretty much nothing as most things in the game will be wounding them on threes that are effective against them, of course, and this will be making the wound on fours, which is really, really a big, you know, defense buff. Of course, there is Armor of Contempt that he could be using every battle round, which would definitely be worth it if you're about to be targeted by a lot of AP1 or AP2 weapons. He also has one for uh, mortal wounds when you, pi uh, when you pile in. Uh, if you desperately need extra damage against, say, a vehicle or something like that that they might struggle to kill but can get low enough, these mortal wounds could tip the balance. And the most powerful one is easily reroll wounds when you're in object uh, near the found objectives, which of course will be pretty much all of them except your home field for the most part of the game. And uh, the Deathwing Knights getting to reroll all wounds makes them just hideously efficient, and the regular Deathwing Terminators will also really enjoy it. And if you can coordinate with Oath of Moment, you will be just mulching just about anything in the game. Um, 
uh, as I said earlier, uh, jumping out of a land raider is definitely a good idea, as they really appreciate the assault ramp rule. And uh, they could also jump out of a storm raven, which could then give them, uh, uh, say, a dreadnought in fire support. Again, I'm just I'm just glazing the storm raven because I love its model. I've always liked the storm raven; it's really cool. Uh, though I'd say outside of the Inner Circle Task Force, he more so struggles for a place compared to the uh, Terminator Chaplain, which is going to be the next video I do. The Terminator Chaplain, of course, gives plus one to wound and a feel no pain against mortals, which has some interesting interactions with Deathwing units and Terminators as a whole. Anyways, I've been Spoons Rattling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.